to protect the village, we have to make him our friend. When people connect to a good story, it bonds them together. Now, who wants to start? <gasps> I do! Keith! He's back! I know, Thomas. Keith is back, right? My story's gonna blow Archer away! Uh, maybe when the fate of the entire village isn't at stake? Edward, Percy James told me and Keith tells the story again, right? Right, Thomas. I know Keith tells a story about himself, or yourself, or even Thomas and Aromas, and Henry pulls a flying kipper, and Percy's predicament. <laughs> Pretty funny, right? <laughs> yes, Edward, I do. Keith, it's up to you, buddy. It's time to unleash the Keith. Yup. You got more talent in one leg than it than a lot of Trains. courses got in their whole body. Yes, Edward. I told you Keith is a gutsy kid. No, Thomas. Keith is a buddy troll or a little troll child. <laughs> Edward, you thought of a joke, right? <laughs> yeah, Thomas. Keith? Are you telling about James? He knows about favorite stories, even though you're maybe such a buddy, your name would kind of innocent, but you're maybe just a silly buffface, but only thinks in kind of your stupid- Hey, shut it. It's story time. Icarus always had the coolest idea. Starting with only a few, he picked up more and more cars at each station, till he had a long train. First, the freight cars behave well, but James bumped them so crossly that they were determined to get back at him. Presently, they approach the top of Gordon's Hill. Heavy freight trains halt here to set their brakes. James had had an accident with cars before and should have remembered this. Ha! Let me get this take. I mean, let me get this straight. He did not get close enough, James, with pulling the trunks for trucks at Gordon's Hill. The end! Story done! Next! Wrong! He flew past the sun! Wait, James, wait, said the driver, but James wouldn't wait. He was too busy thinking what he would say to Toby when they next met. The freight car's chance had come. Hurrah, hurrah, they laughed, and banging their buffers, they pushed him down the hill. On, 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 yelled the cars. I've got to stop, I've got to stop, groaned James. Through the station they thundered, disaster lay ahead. Told you Key tells the story about James. <laughs> yeah. Edward, what are you laughing at? <laughs> Nothing, Thomas. <laughs> I, I just uh, Key tells the story about James the Splinter Red Engine. <laughs> Is that true? Sorry, no spoilers. Wow, Edward. I cannot wait for Keith to finish that story, right? Yep, he's gotta go back to his training, right? Yep, I think so. Is that true, Queen Poppy? Okay. In that case, Keith doesn't have to come back tomorrow to finish. Come on, Keith. Aw, oh, Poppy, Keith, don't leave. We'll try to help you. Yeah, Tom's and I gonna help. Oh, wait a minute. Keith finished his story, right? Right. Let's have a three cheers for Keith. Yay! Keith! 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 Well done, Keith! And well done to you, too, Keith. So, Thomas, well, what are you going to do about that doctor? Don't worry, Edward. They're called Earth Authorities, so they'll take care of them, right? Yep, I guess so. 